guys. Just got the stand for this evening's sit. Um, uh, finally all set up and ready to go. Seems like I was running a little late, but I'm sitting in a spot I know well. I sat in a ton last year. I had several shooters in here last year. And to my knowledge, none of them ever got a shot. Uh, Old Red was one of them that I hunted a ton in here last year. So had tons of footage of them. And another deer that I passed the year before that I was also I would have shot him last year. I saw him a couple times. And then another deer that we have never seen, probably the biggest of the three. Uh, he's been on camera here the past two years as well. So uh, the corn just came out a couple days ago over here. Uh, so I'm hoping that that'll open up some visibility and that these deer will want to come out in this cornfield and feed this summer just driving by. I took some pictures of some big deer in the bean field. It's about half a mile to my north. I don't know exactly what deer those were, if they're any of the ones from last year, but uh, real excited for this sit. Uh, I'm sure everybody in the Midwest that's out in the stand right now is on pins and needles all night because this is the cold front we've been waiting for. It's about 50, 55 out right now and uh, it's been 80 for a week straight so <laughs> it's you can't ask for much more than that with a October cold front so gonna be a fun sit this evening. Just, it's finally breaking daylight this morning. Uh, originally didn't plan on sitting this morning because the wind looked like it was going to be pulling some, but doing some switching right at daylight. And I woke up this morning early just to check my phone to see if it I went straightened out. And luckily it straightened out and it's what I needed to be. So I came in here to sit. Uh, I'm on my favorite Oak Ridge, if you guys have followed along last couple of years you've recognized this spot. Uh, I'm excited about this morning since that cold front came in yesterday. It's not as chilly as it was supposed to be this morning but it's still chilly. Really light wind. Uh, I'm after a buck that I've decided to name Deuce. Uh, he's an awesome deer. I've had pictures of him for the past three years and seen him uh, two years ago and then last year when I was during doe season. Uh, he walked into 10 yards two different times after I'd already killed my, killed my buck, so probably would have shot him last year, I'm guessing. He'd probably be a five-year-old this year, uh, just a really big eight uh, with a split brow on one side, so I'm excited for this morning. Cindy, he finally showed back on camera here about two weeks ago, and uh, oh, I think it was October 3rd or 4th, he was down on the bean field in daylight, and it looked like he came up this way. Which every time I've ever seen that deer from the tree, he's walked on the trail at 15 yards in front of this stand. So if he comes up this way, I have a good feeling that he'll come by here. Uh, and then there's a couple other bucks that he was with. One of them's a pretty nice seven point really long brows. Don't think I'd shoot it, but it'd be fun to get a look at him. So hopefully I have some action up in here this morning. I think that's gonna wrap it up for this morning. I've been kind of getting hungry and got some things I need to get done today. Uh, been ready to get out, but the deers keep moving. It's been 
been interesting. It's almost uh, 10, 15 now, and they're still so up and almost three and a half hours after shooting light, they're still moving. Uh, that buck I saw early this morning, that little eight point, I guess not little, he's gonna be pretty nice here in a couple of years. Uh, actually, he w was with Deuce when he daylighted here. And I looked back at the picture, it was October 1st that they were uh, down in the bean field at seven, a little after seven in the morning. So definitely tells me I'm in the game. Uh, I think Deuce, if he does what he's done in years past, I think I'll stand a good, a really good chance at seeing him up in here in the rut. So uh, gonna be fun to sit up in here this year. Obviously there's a lot of does that'll keep the bucks coming back. And I really thought I'd see more of them milling around on acorns, but it seemed mostly like the deer were just coming and going from point A to point B, uh, kind of moving all directions. So luckily this will be the last time I'm in orange unless I get out this evening. Uh, this weekend is the uh, early uh, firearm doe season, so uh, it's a good sit, and I'm excited to chase Deuce this year, and hopefully we can eventually get him or one of the other target bucks on the ground. Well, we were able to get out of work a little early today, and you can't tell we're going to someone's backyard here close to the house. Um, we didn't have enough time to get up and go on a full hunt on our main property so we're gonna come back here where it's a small piece we showed you guys earlier this year um, usually we just like to take those out on it but there's a couple bucks that's been showing up and Josh has his eye on one um, I think it's got like a split main beam or something so if he walks out Josh is gonna smoke him with my bow though and then if a doe walks out and gives me a chip shot I'll probably take her get some meat in the freezer so we'll see well, we finally got set up. It took us like 45 minutes. We thought it was gonna be an easy hanging hunt. We already had sticks or steps screwed into this tree. Um, it was raining whenever we came in, so we were able to really sneak in here. So good that whenever I got halfway up the tree with my stand, we looked around, there's like five different groups of does bedded within like 20 yards of us. One fawn just walked up to Josh like, at five steps but anyways the rain stopped and, and we finally got set up here Josh is in the saddle filming behind me um, so I mentioned earlier we're at this really small you know basically a city urban hunt um, we got permission or Josh got permission from the landowner a few years back and every now and then there's some good good bucks out here but usually we just come out here to try and fill the freezer um, but there's one good buck that Josh has his eye on out here. If, if he decides to come by, then Josh is going to shoot him. If not, then we're going to wait and see. If a doe gives us a chip shot, then, then I'll hopefully stick her. Get first blood for the season. So stick with us, and we'll see what happens. Just like I started to get my lanes and make sure I could shoot everywhere and ride as soon as I checked my last lane, put my bow down, and then just a group of three doe come walking right in. 20 yards. Easy as that. Like first 10 minutes of being set up. <laughs> so now the fun begins. Mm-mm-mm. Well, guys, here she is. Um, she didn't go but 30 or 40 yards. You know, Josh and I 
spent more time, we were joking, we spent more time setting up tonight than we actually spent hunting. We're thankful, thankful that we get to hunt these awesome animals and, and to harvest this mature doe. Um, early October, this is when we usually like to, you know, come take does, fill the freezer. Um, but yeah, cold front coming in early part of next week and, and we're ready to start chasing the bucks. So thank you guys for tuning in. And as always, thanks for watching Midwest Whitetail, The Great Plains Show.